and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome to my channel today i was actually just getting my stuff ready because i'm going to london tomorrow morning very early to spend the rest of the week in london i work in an office there i was planning what i was going to wear for my three days in the office i mentioned previously that i wanted to do like a work wear lookbook a workwear haul and you guys <laughs> and you guys seemed to be interested too i think nowadays most people either kind of work for themselves or they work in quite a casual office environment so the clothes that i have selected for this little lookbook not all of them are new actually most of them you can still find or similar things i will link down below in the description box everything that i've sort of piece together is stuff that I would wear for my office job which is not necessarily like you just have to dress smart so all of these outfits have a little something a little something fun but a little something officey so without much further ado let's jump into it okay so the first outfit is actually the outfit that I'm going to be wearing tomorrow so it's just this really nice like snake skin print shirt from pretty little thing i actually went on pretty little thing last night there's so many good stuff but there's also so many of the stuff that i bought like last year still on the website so this is still there it has matching trousers so it's a really nice like matching set but i thought for work that was a bit over the top i can add in a little bit of a trend print with some nice black plain trousers from zara but these are actually flared flares will always make your legs look longer and they're not overly flared so they're office appropriate they've got a really nice like waistband which is nice and thick hopefully these will still be kind of these were actually bought maybe last year on zara but i think they might look similar if not i'll you know try and find a pair of flares i like uh, but because of this material i think they're a little bit more office friendly next up is something that i'm actually ashamed of like i am ashamed that i bought this set this like suit from Topshop still has a tags in it. And I think I bought it last January, January through to 2018. So <gasps> whoops. I have actually worn it out in London for pictures. And I have this thing about I don't like taking tags off until like they need washing, which is strange because I always knew I was going to keep this. But for some reason, I kept them on. I got this from ASOS. I wanted to bring this out wherever possible. And I think this is like the perfect way to wear it. There's kind of two looks here. You could either just wear the trousers with a nice white shirt. I've got a shirt from TM Lewin, which actually has... <laughs> my name in it from when I went to school like this was my school shirt nice like shaped shirt so it's nice and tight to your body with these kind of high-waisted trousers it looks very nice very sophisticated but like not overly overly officey I feel like this would definitely be something that I could wear in my office because I mean you could go in a new gym kit I'm sure no one would get offended but you're supposed to be like so I think that's a nice, easy outfit. And the trousers are really nice, really smart. And the green is just a little bit different, a little bit interesting. And then the, obviously the blazer that goes with it is this one, which is the same green. And yeah, I'm ashamed to say that the tag is still on. I am actually, that is bad. I should wear this more. And I'm like not giving it away or selling it because I really like it, but I just haven't had the chance. Oh, next up also with those flared trousers, I did a recent Zara haul, which I will leave a link down below and I found this little blazer thingy in there it's such a cute little blazer very preppy I love the collar it's so cute it's very expensive though it's 80 pounds I've still got the <laughs> still got the tag on I don't know if I'm gonna keep this yet or not um my nose is running excuse me I really like this but I just don't know whether to keep it for 80 pounds please help me little cute buttons and stuff and with the flares I just felt like the black went with the black and it was all enjoyable so yeah next up is actually another outfit that i'm gonna be wearing this week on thursday i have to plan my outfits before time because i don't leave all of my outfits in london so i plan my outfits on the monday this is a kind of look that you could do if you were a say on a friday it's still kind of smart it's still office appropriate and it's still flattering and it's still stylish there was a lot of things there <laughs> but it's also something you could wear like to go out on a friday night you know what I mean? Because sometimes after work, people go for a drink and you're like, oh, I look a mess. I look very boring. And I want to look a little bit more sassy when you go out for a drink. So this is something you could wear and then just zhuzh up your makeup when you're going out. Also, just to make it a little bit more cash, cash, I uh, popped on this oversized boyfriend blazer that I've been wearing since I was in before sixth form. So I've had this for, let's actually work that out. It must be like eight years. Eight years I've had this. This is from Topshop, so I probably can't link this one down below. Um, but boyfriend, a fit, oversized, got some shoulder pads in it, and it was just like a really comfortable thing to pop on over top of dresses and stuff when I was younger. At the moment, you don't need like a heavy coat, so it works well as like a little, little something over the top. Next up. 
sorry. <laughs> Next up, I have this pair of trousers, which I knew I wanted to include in this video because I love them. Uh, again, I want to try and wear these at work, but probably not this week because I've sort of sorted out my outfit, so relax. This is from Naked, nice like geometric squared pattern, nice and tight. These are in a 34, so they're quite tight. They like fit me perfectly. I don't actually know what size that is in like UK sizing, but the 34, I'm like an eight, so that was perfect. First of all, I thought the way that I probably would wear it, which I know might not be office appropriate for all offices, but I have this top that again, I really, really like. This is, I think I bought it on Amazon from the brand Find. And yeah, it's completely see-through with pol pol polka, that's like polka dots on it, and then frills. Really like this, and I think it's high neck, it's like long sleeve, so it feels like it's covering, but it's also see-through, so it's like a little bit of something. Or you could wear a black, any top thing, uh, which actually, I should have probably done that. Any news? <laughs> Chill! Also popped on a white t-shirt with the same pair of trousers, just because I thought, you know, obviously you could put a shirt with that. We're not going for the obvious options here. So a nice t-shirt, this one again is from Zara, there's a lot of Zara here. Popped on top this Holland Cooper blazer, which I love, the quality is amazing. This is in a size six. It's got really nice long sleeves, got really cool bucket, buckle, button details. And yeah, these are just incredible. So if you're looking for like a blazer or something smart to wear for work or outside of work, this is really nice. And it really adds like a tailored effect to any outfit. So you could actually wear like a nice flowy dress with this. Okay, so that is the end of my workwear video, my office look. look. I hope you guys like this video. I'm really sorry if you wanted a more conventional, workwear lookbook, but let me know if you do. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button, and I will see you in my next video.